As crazy as it sounds, you can be a professional editor with the cheapest computer Apple makes. How do I know this? Well, I get paid to edit, and my primary computer of choice is the M1 Mac Mini. Can it edit anything? No, but if you know how to set it up, it can edit just about anything. And speaking from personal experience, I haven't hit anything it slowed me down with yet. First things first, let's talk specs. I am working with an M1 Mac Mini with 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of storage. Now for the editor, my weapon of choice is DaVinci Resolve. Overall, it runs great on M1, but let's make it run like a hot knife through butter. So what you're gonna need to do is go to File, Project Settings. Up at the top, make sure your timeline resolution is 1920 by 1080. All this is doing is making your timeline a lower resolution, which makes playback smoother. Even if you're editing 4K footage and exporting in 4K, I always have my timeline at 1080. The second and most important piece to having a smooth experience with DaVinci Resolve is going down to these optimized media and render cache settings. Make sure your proxy media resolution is chosen automatically for proxy formats, optimized formats, and render cache formats. I choose ProRes 422 Proxy just because it's very quick to generate and it plays back super well. Now, make sure that background caching is enabled after one second. I would go lower if I could. Automatically cache transitions in user mode, automatically cache compositions in user mode, and automatically cache fusion effects in user mode. All this is doing is allowing the computer to background render any of those secret sauce moments when we're putting film grain on top of stuff, when we're adding effects in fusion, it renders them into a low res file that still looks really good so that when you're playing it back in your editor, it's smooth. This will change your life. It changed mine when I figured out these settings. The only other gotcha is after you set up these settings, make sure in playback that render cache is set to user. You want all of those background rendering effects to get utilized. Now, if these changes still aren't enough for whatever you're throwing at it, and please send me these examples because I would love to hear what you are doing to break this computer. What you need to do instead is just go to your media folder, Alt A, right click and generate proxies. People always have a weird thing with proxies, but here's the thing, you're a human, humans require sleep, generate proxies while you sleep. Or the fact of the matter is this computer does it so fast, you probably could generate them while you're grabbing a cup of joe. Either way, you should have everything you need to edit just about anything any professional would throw at you with style and confidence without your computer getting in your way. And it didn't cost you an arm and a leg.